All right, for our next problem in word problems, we're going to look at chemistry. So, the chemist has 15 milliliters of 40% acid. How much pure acid should be added to obtain a 60% acidity? The first thing that I'd note is that if I have 15 milliliters of 40% acid, I can create a data point from that. So, how much actual acid do I have in there? Well, the amount of acid at, at the moment is equal to 15 times 0.4, which equals a nice handy 6 milliliters. Now that we know that we have 6 milliliters of acid, we can get to the process of problem solving. So the question is, how much pure acid should be added? Well, that sounds like a great variable. X is equal to the amount of pure acid to be added to separate it from the amount of pure acid that we have on hand. Now, the way percentages like these are calculated is you take the amount of acid and you divide it by the total volume. And ideally, according to the problem, we get 60% or 0.6. So, let's write a line stating the amount of acid. Well, we start out with 6 milliliters, but we then add X quantity of pure acid. So, 6 plus X. Now, in terms of total volume, we start out with 15 milliliters. And then, since every milliliter of pure acid we add is going into our total volume, we have to add that to the bottom as well. So, consider this equation here. It's one equation in one variable. We need to cross multiply. So, 0 0.6 times 15 plus x is equal to 6 plus x. So, 0 0.6 times 15 gives us 9, plus 0.6x is equal to 6 plus x. So I subtract 0.6x, and I subtract 6. So I get 3 equals 0.4x divided by 0.4. And I get x equals 7.5. And to double check, I look back at my key and I say that x is the amount of pure acid to be added and our units are milliliters, so I stick the unit milliliters onto this. So if we add 7.5 milliliters of pure acid, we will obtain the 60% concentration.